Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to E3 2016. We're here with Jason Kingsley, CEO and Creative Director of Sniper 4. First of all, we just had our hands on with it. Um, we didn't really want to get up, but the, she forced us to, so I just want to say that. Uh, but. <laughs> shoulder for yeah. a few minutes he was get like, up get up did she hit you on the back of the head yes. come on come on first, he said you guys want to interview with kingsley yeah. and i was sitting there and i said yeah go ask them and i put my headphones back on and kept on right so you're right like, just ignore me and just yeah. go back in and play the game <laughs> Jason, I mean, this this game is amazing. Uh, I mean, the sniper games have a, have a long track record of, of success. What did we change? What, what would you say the number one thing is that we changed from the last game that we've seen to this game? The number one thing I think is probably the traversal of the landscape. Uh, the Sniper Elite 3, we sort of implemented some changes and some things that were a bit better, but this one we got a lot more mantling, a lot more exploration. There's ways of getting out of trouble on the edges of bridges, I don't really saw that, and it takes a bit of getting used to, because if you're used to playing Sniper Elite 3, you forget you've got these op other options. Tools at your disposal. Yes, absolutely. So the key thing about sniping is getting to a good spot, trying not to be seen. And so, with the last one, you were a little bit more limited. But now, if you can see a really cool, sweet spot to take that long, long shot and really spoil a Nazi's day, you can actually get to <laughs> that place. Least. Yeah, yeah. So, did you did you see any of the um, particularly awkward? Uh, yeah. and anatomical shots. Yes. You yes. know, the, the, the thing that I would say I love most about these games is like a lot of people are thinking if they haven't played a game before, guns are blazing. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'll take everybody out, no one can stop me. Yeah. No, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> we tried very much with the Sniper Elite series to kind of make it a sort of thinking person's shooter. Yeah, uh, I, I have no real experience of actual fighting, but I would imagine that in real war you don't run down the middle of the, <laughs> of the road with a machine gun. Yeah. That, that's going to be a really bad tactic. You can take out everybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, only works in, in movies, and even then sometimes probably only works on the third or fourth take. Um, but for, what we wanted to do is a game where you had to move strategically. It still goes frantic and chaotic at times, and you've just got to do what you can with a machine gun or a pistol or whatever and get out of there. Yeah, but really sniper ammo a lot so I had to resort to that. Also speaking of awkward, I think the first thing that, that happened when I played the game, the first person I zoomed in to shoot says, I miss my kids. Yeah, <laughs> and, then I, and then I blew his brains out and I was just like, I'm a father. What have I done? We, we, we played around with that a little bit because yeah. you, you, can, you can identify, so if you use your binoculars as part of the game, you, you tag people and work where they are and it's part of your sniper skill. And if you stay on them, you get to hear more about their personalities. And sometimes it'll say, you know, a wife beater, or it'll say... Shoot that guy straight shoot up. Shoot that guy, ex exactly. And then, you know, it'll say... Torture. I think I shot a model father though. <laughs> well, and sometimes we, we, we made those difficult decisions for you and, and in the game you don't have to shoot everybody. You have to achieve your objective and you can, and we've got people in QA who have played the game, not from start to finish, but almost from start to finish without killing very many people. I mean, you have to still have to keep kill people. Sure. It is. It's not, it's not be nice in these, is it? So Kingsley's telling me I could have avoided killing that guy. I didn't actually have to kill that father. That was my own decision, and I'm a horrible person. Thanks. <laughs> Back to you. Yeah, sure. I mean, so for me, the, the, the number one thing that makes draws me in is, like you said, a thinking man shooter. I mean, it, it really does... If you haven't played the sniper games before, you, you've got to do it because it is a different experience than your normal. It's a bit more like hunting, you know, when you hunt, when you're hunting something that's that's going to try and get out your way. You, you don't just run into the middle of the wood and, and shoot. Well, at least I don't believe that's what hunters do. But you've you've got to set up the shots. You've got to look for your quarry, and that's what we're trying to bring out. This is a you are an elite sniper. You're a special kind of marksman and you you've got to try and think with that mindset and we designed the game to try and try and make that happen for you for the player and, and pulling off that sweet shot getting to that perfect sniper taking the shot getting out because getting out of danger it's yeah. also the the thing as it's well it's not just the kill no no you've got to get out you know it's, it's easy to not easy it's it's hard to take the shot but it's even harder to get out 
alive. And taking the shot means using your environment, right? So you want to use everything that you and the tools at your disposal. I notice uh, uh, we, we had kind of uh, handlers, as you say, like, what can we do? What, give us some pointers. He's like, well, you have a rock. You could you could throw a rock and draw some tension. And then just all the reactions from the AI enemies. I mean, everything was just spot on. I mean, I, I found that I could really use a number of different tactics here to accomplish just getting out of this scenario. And then I'm on to the next, right? You, you can be pretty mean as well. You can place a landmine down and then you can whistle yeah. and bring the AI over. And, it, and, it, and if, it's, if it's that good father of yours, it happens to be conscripted into the German army, you can have guilt yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I will, thank you. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, gameplay time. I mean, um, in, in these games, how much gameplay do you expect the average gamer to get out of this? Do you know what, that's really hard to say because if you are the more kind of active, speed player you can probably play one of these levels in an hour and a half two hours if you really know the routes to go and you just do the things you've got to do to finish the the missions then probably you might be able to cut that down to an hour and i'm sure people are going to say you know you did faster than that but i <laughs> there's some levels where i've been playing the whole day <laughs> yeah sneaking around crawling you know i would have been there all yeah. day uh, and another thing i like is that like you said there's so many different ways to, to do things, I like that I was forced out of my monotonous routine because I was just sitting there just taking shots with my sniper rifle, which was almost unfair at a certain extent. And I was just sitting in my position with my ammo supplies here, and then I ran out. And then uh, and then they were coming, and so um, then I realized, you know, I had a last known position. Um, so I hid behind a rock and waited for them to come find that, shot them in the back of the head, and then I just kept creeping. And then before I know it, I'm behind enemy lines where I was in this, this you know, cheeky, like, yeah. spot where I could just shoot at people all day. Now I'm, like, in the houses with the people and slowly creeping around and, and melee killing and I really loved that approach too. We, we tried to mix up the gameplay so that you can you can try being the ultra sneaky sniper, you can try being the slightly not that good sniper or, or whatever. And we got all the different difficulty levels as well. I don't know what did you play it on default difficulty level? Do you get Probably I didn't actually know there was a <laughs> a choice. Did you get the bullet drop and the bullet, yes. you know, where the bullet's gonna go? So that's an important component. So the further you're shot mm -hmm. The, 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 the bullet drops, has physics sure. so that, that you, you had like a diamond trajectory that like if, if maybe sometimes I would forget and of course I was drinking while I was playing so I would forget to change my range and so I would go into it with the default range you would be at 200 meters and it would calculate to where the the uh, the, the uh, diamond would be lower because I had to shoot higher to make that distance and I was like oh and then it was right in my crosshairs. So it was great. Yeah. So there's things like that. So we've we've added the the idea of um, uh, of zeroing in your rifle, which is something that anybody that actually shoots rifles for real will know is a very important component of that. We didn't have that in the last game because we felt it was too difficult, and quite frankly, we ran out of time. This time we add that opportunity, and that for the for the super the super elite real marksmen in this world, we have an authentic mode where all of the assists are all switched on. Right. So, and, and and I think you can't take much in the way of shots. You get shot, you're in trouble. Like, it's the real world, let's face it. Um, and and therefore, you know, we, we really allowed people. They can they can play it on easy mode if they want to, learn the layout, and then really challenge themselves without any of the assists. I liked that that there was that deeper element, and that I had to pay attention to the range that I was at because that really makes you feel elite. Yes. Well, scoping out, you know. As you said, running down the middle of the road with the machine gun is a really terrible way of being a sniper. Scoping it out, <laughs> using your binoculars, checking what people have got, what, you're, what you need to do to achieve. You know, as, as I said, you don't need to shoot everybody by a long way. You can if you want to, and a lot of people do tend to shoot more people than we think. But, you know, but in this actual game, you, you can, as long as you achieve your missions as a soldier, then uh, we're good with that. Every, every time you say you don't have to shoot everybody, I feel a pang of guilt. It's great. I have post-traumatic stress disorder from this. It's, great. it's wonderful. <laughs> Just one question. You, you mentioned the settings and the missions. Uh, what was your inspiration behind, uh, you know, setting the, the atmospheres and the, and the missions themselves, the settings? You know, where did you come up with those ideas? We are kind of following real history. So we're set in the Second World War. Um, the great thing about the Second World War from a technological perspective is the, the, the weren't drones, there weren't remote cameras, there were no satellites. It was kind of a, a man with boots and a, and a really good sniper it's rifle. More personal. It, it is more personal and, and is more direct and more mechanical. So we thought that was that was more fun for the player. It's also great to kind of get away from the sort of ultra modern shooter 
uh, scope. And it's set in Italy, and it is a beautiful country. If you've ever been there, it's absolutely fabulous. And it changes. I mean, it's, a, it's quite a big country. And you go from north to south, and lots of things change. And of course, the Allies uh, were fighting against the Axis forces. Uh, and then, of course, Italy is a very complex environment. You had, you had communist partisans, you had freedom partisans, you had you know, the, the, the ordinary Italian soldier was just sort of following orders and was he was damned to be on the wrong side at one stage and then swapped over again, you know. So it's quite a complex political situation and our story involves around that kind of thing. You're, you're going ahead of the Allies' attempt at recapturing uh, the peninsula of Italy. Uh, and so we, we follow the broad brushstrokes of the real world. So you'll see bits inspired by some of the beautiful Cinque, uh, Cinque Terra uh, landscapes, which are the sort of Italian ports and very famous tourist attractions. And then Monte Cassino, which is a very uh, famous and important um, uh, US Army uh, operation, uh, as well as some of the other allies. And so there's some really interesting things there. We, we, haven't, we haven't copied the landscapes. We've been influenced by them, because we've got to make a game at the end of the day. Um, but you know, people who are, we had Italian people looking at it going, hey, I, I think I've been on a holiday there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it's all part of it's all part of the experience. I mean, if, if once again, if you haven't played the sniper games before, you need to do it. Uh, it it's addicting. It's fun. It, it's just um, you know something. Once you start, you don't realize you're gonna have so much fun. Then all of a sudden, you're addicted. You're like, how can I do this? How can I do this? How can I do this? That's what I find my, myself doing. Like, I just constantly thinking. It's a good time. Um, I mean, you guys should be very proud. It looks great. Uh, what platforms are you developing for? We're developing this on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Excellent. And, and uh, when can we expect to get our hands on this? This is coming out in February. I think February the 14th. So it's an ideal Valentine's <laughs> present for anybody that's romantic and wants to get something for their loved one. I would thoroughly recommend Sniper Elite 4. You and lo your loved one can you know, take this to heart by shooting people directly through the heart. Well, yeah. shot, shot through the heart. Maybe yeah, we can license, yeah, yeah. license a particular piece of music. <laughs> Jason, thank you so much for joining us. We very much appreciate it. Check out Sniper Elite 4. Keep it here on Press Start TV. Thank you so much. Bye. Cheers. Awesome.